If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we have, we have a lot of custom tactics. I have footage for... Honestly, a bunch of them, a bunch of them. I have player reviews that player reviews when they're like transfer market cards are more like fodder. We just upload them and then they, I just let them chill on the YouTube video. If they grow or the YouTube channel, if they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. Right. Some people will watch me spam these uploads and they're like, Inception's channel's dying. No, it's because you're spamming uploads. You're not supposed to spam uploads on YouTube. Right. But they're just there in the background so that when the real days come for content, we do that. Right. So just letting people know whenever we do those sort of uh those sort of days okay so i haven't reviewed a tactic from div 10 in a minute okay ever since honestly i don't even remember the last time i reviewed a tactic of his um guys this formation is the 4411 bracket 2 and this is how it's set up right so you have your defensive style on balanced 30 for width 50 for depth build up play balanced dr uh, direct passing for chance creation 15 for width, 6 for players in the box, and then for corners and free kicks, I personally put 1 because I hate getting counterattacked, right? Uh, the instructions are pretty consistent in every single area except for 1, and that's going to be in the center mid spot, okay? So, your fullbacks are both on step up inverted, your left mid and your right mid are both come back, cut inside, stay on edge of box, um, your box to box center mid is going to be on get into box, high, high work rated preferably. And then your more defensive oriented midfielder that could still be someone like a Bruno Fernandes or a Kimmich or like it doesn't have to be Chuamen, even though Chuamen is one of the best medium high work rated players in the game. Um, Chuamen for me is like more of a CDM, but he can definitely play a center mid role too. I, I was playing with him a little bit there for this 4 4 1 1 as well, but. When you use true many in like the CDM position, that's where you're really like four triple two, four two three one. That's where you're gonna really feel him, you know. Um, but yeah, stay back cover center for that specific position, and then for your center forward or cam, I think it's the cam, right? Because it's a four four two, four four one one bracket two. So I think it's the cam position. Um, is stay forward, get into box, drift wide. It's either cam or center forward. You guys have to check in game, okay? And then your striker is basically left on balance. So. Um, Formations like this, guys, they're not like the top tier formations in the game. Like for me right now, I think the 4 triple 2 is probably my favorite after the patch um, from Naweezy and also George. Uh, I'm also going to do his review for that 4 triple 2 because it was amazing to use. It, it suits the meta of the game perfectly, especially if you have like your meta players in the team and stuff, right? But the thing about this formation, here's what I'll say. Like with the only things that it strays away from meta of the game wise is the center mids not being congested midfielders like and this is just like a personal preference of mine because there are people that cook with a 442 and i just don't really cook with a 442 in that way because i never liked the balance of having just the two center mids in the middle for some reason the four triple two because you have the two cdms it just works significantly better because you can actually give them specific instructions too. Like you give them like cut passing lane and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like personally, it makes more of a difference because this game is kind of turned more into a defensive game than an attacking game, in my opinion. But obviously you could still attack if you just kind of time your attacking AI runs and stuff really nicely. But in this game, it's all about like kind of blocking that attacking AI of them pushing up against your defenders. So you need to, you need that congestion as much as possible. So that was like the main thing that I noticed being off with the formation in the center mid position because the formation, like I said, a 4411 is just not a full meta formation. But the reason why I'm reviewing it is because it's still good. It's a really, really good formation. I enjoyed using it. I like to give people different variations that are not always the full meta formations because this one has really good attacking AI. Like you see the step up inverted for the fullbacks. You're actually going to notice them getting involved in the attack and scoring opportunities. Like I think in some of the highlights for the teams that I was using, I think I had like Alfonso Davies as the left back and you'll see him score opportunities because of him. Essentially, it's really funny, right? Because he essentially acts like a center mid, right? When he's attacking. So he'll score sometimes for me. It's really, really interesting. But um, 
yeah, it's a solid formation. I like formations like this because it's always fun and unique to use different things. You just have to know that you're straying away from the meta a little bit, but it's like if there was like full meta, it'd be like the tier below that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really, really nice on the attacking AI. Like I thoroughly enjoy using it. It was funny because this was the first time I used this tactic. I was actually doing it for the Vinicius Jr. review and I was playing him in the cam position and he was doing a fantastic job there. Like the attacking AI for that card is amazing. Vinicius is like left stick is weird. Truth be told, it is right, because for me, if I was playing like full meta, I'd go for cards that have like way better left stick on a consistent basis everywhere. But the thing is that AI wise, like it's really nice, you know, especially when you have proper striker up top, like Mbappe, Zebu, Werner, any of those types of dudes um, will definitely do really, really good job up top as well. But yeah, a lot of different options you can work with when it comes to this formation and tactic. It works out really nicely. I have a bunch of footage of how the formation generally performs. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this little introduction. I'll catch you guys for the highlights and I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. I might upload this one today after some of the reviews that I have coming up soon. We'll see. We'll see. Nice finesse shot. Nice finesse shot. Good play, good play. Let's go, guys. Oh, he slaps those finesse shots. He slaps those things. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice goal. Nice goal, nice goal. Nice L trigger touch. That was a good L trigger touch, that right there. Kind of like put him in a good position to strike the ball there. That was solid. There it is. There it is. And you'll go keep that, my dude. Nice again. There it is. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Berbatov. Good finish. Oh, let's go. That whole build-up play was good. There we go. Sorry, when you do those runs, they, they just get sluggy. <laughs> they get sluggy, dude. Gotta be careful. Nice. Oh, dude, even on your left, you can hit those. I'll pass. Oh, nice. 
he moved his goalkeeper and and he was able to go back quickly i don't know about that patch ea let's go to, let's go alonzo i don't know about that patch there bud where he said oh yeah he's gonna be stuck there for a while i don't know about that one chief Holy! War of finesse shots from the homie there. I mean, we got to be honest, guys. The the price difference between the two cards, being able to give that finesse shot on the dribble, it kind of adds to it because the base card stats for pace already in a good area is very important to give him the finisher. It definitely adds to it for sure, hundred percent. Definitely does. Onside, good stuff. There it is. Good finish, good finish. Oh my goodness, can you imagine if he didn't score that? That would have been horrible. <laughs> no, he didn't know, and it's a penalty, thank goodness. Oh, he had no idea, bro, come on now. Let's go. He thought I was going to do the switch and go down the middle. Let's go. Good play. Good, good, good. Good play, good play. All position, Alonso. Nice. Good run. Good build up play. Nice, Alonzo. Good play. Good play, good play. Rez is impressing me so far. There it is. There it is. Nice, good run. Good run, good run. Oh, Alaware on his soul. He's a beast, man. It's a good finish, too, to the near post. Wow, this Pires card, uh, like... Let's go, Van Percy. Nice. 
Nice job, Zola. Okay. Wow. Well, we're on. Oh, thank goodness. There we go, Van Percy. Good stuff. That's what we need from you, my boy. Oh. Let's go, Alawaron. on. So we're looking for there. Oh, I was about to say, man. 